Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some Arena Commander again and be looking at what used to be called Star Marine. And we're going to be looking at this Gun Rush, which is a bit like gun game in COD, where you have one gun and each time you um, eliminate someone, you, you go up a, a, in the next gun. So I'm going to check this out because when I first tried Star Marine, when I first started playing a year ago, it wasn't great, this first person part. It was quite sliding, there wasn't many people on it, and it, I struggled with my controller. So I wanted to have a look at it and see what it's like now with this new 3.20 with more people on it. So you hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that point, tickle that like button for us. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And the code dropping down is a code we've randomly picked from the last video in the comment section. If you want your code to show up, your referral code to show up, just subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the uh, comment section with your code, your referral code. So let's get into this one, guys. So, Arena Commander gun game. So each time you eliminate someone, you go up in a gun. And I don't know the maps, so that'll be the first thing to learn. Uh, there's a lot more maps than there was when I first tried it uh, not long back. Uh, probably about seven months ago. So I'm just trying different things and see what it feels like. I am I'm used to be a big pod player, so I'm um, just trying it compared to that and see what it feels like. I just got absolutely slaughtered there. Again, you're gonna have to learn the guns and what the guns are. And like I said, it used to be really slidey, like you was sliding on ice. absolutely useless although i am playing on pads so anybody with a mouse and keyboard is probably gonna have a bit more advantage than me on my pad and up to here it does feel a little bit more stable not as slide as it used to be maybe i need to play around with some of my sensitivities and that but when i first tried it seven months ago it was like i was running on ice So I'm just going to sort of let the game play and I'll just ch chirp in now and then. I'll let you enjoy the gameplay itself, but I'll just chirp in now and then. That, what I just passed there, you can refill up your med tools with as well. So there we go, I've got my first kill. Go and fill up my med tool here. And then I've got a med pack I can use. So anybody into the first person shooting style of game, this is, this would be good for you to play if you just want to get that multiplayer first person shooting rather than doing the PU stuff. Plus it gets you learning when you want to do any other things like bounty hunting and stuff like that. Let us know guys in the comments whether you would want to try this. Any first person shooters out there that you you, you know you guys want to have a look at this. It definitely feels much better than it used to. So definitely some progress. Hopefully they keep building on it because I do like that sometimes doing a cap the flag game or something like that rather than just going and delivering boxes and or you know the stuff that we do Match on over. Match lost. the um the PU. So I've got 4,000 credits, uh, rental credits. So because I'm on multiplayer, I'm getting credits as well. So in things like Control, where you're doing cap the flag, you can actually set up a character with different guns and stuff like that. And also, if you're doing the racing and stuff like that, you can rent out stuff for your ships and rent out new ships. So rental credits are really good for doing other stuff with the ships and that. So I'm just going to let it search straight into the next game. I love this map. This one, you can go outside and jump and you can float up in uh, the platforms. Five, four, three, so this time two, we're starting off one. at least with everybody else and not in mid game. And I just got absolutely annihilated straight away. So definitely a little bit lag, like you can see he's lagging away there. So that's not great. It does feel like I'm just getting killed really easy but that could just be again just he could have been shooting me but i just wasn't seeing he was shooting me and again learning the maps would be a big thing as well uh, an advantage so 
So that little ticking you can hear is the med pack behind me. So there, my gun wouldn't shoot. So that's another bug in the game that I need to report because my gun didn't shoot and I had to switch to my med tools, use my med tool, and then my gun would shoot. So you might see that a few times throughout this, this whole gaming session where I come up behind someone and you'd be like, shoot him, shoot him, and my gun doesn't shoot. So I have to switch to my med gun, my med thing, and use that. Tuck him down. Is he above me, probably? Definitely at a disadvantage with my pad. I think I've got to sort out the the sensitivities. But up to here, I'm actually enjoying it. It's actually doing, actually playing Star Citizen in a game mode I really like. Again, I went to fire again there. Didn't fire. Had to do that again. So that's it. A bug definitely needs reporting and sorting out. He just toasted me with a pistol. Headshotted me. Again, so I pressed fire there just to make sure my gun was actually firing. So I'm just going to play a couple of games of this just to get a feel of it and see what you guys, you can see some of the maps and some, and how I progressed. I started getting better throughout the session as well. Once I started learning the maps a bit more and what weapons was doing, what, I don't know what he did there. He did some sort of weird spin around thing. Another good thing with this is if you, if an explosion lands near you, camp, spawn camper there. If an explosion lands near you, it will blow you off your feet and you'll land on your back, but you can still shoot and then get back up. So you can be knocked down as well. So that's a good thing with this game. It's the physics in it. It like is much is great. As far as I know, the last time I played Cop, that wasn't in it where you could be knocked on your feet from an explosion. It's still got a little bit of an icy feel to it, but not as much as it was. Um, it definitely feels a lot more it's more stable than it did back in 317 when I played. But again, I didn't know what that gun did until I started firing it. Again, my gun didn't fire. That, that got me killed there because my gun didn't fire. Yeah. Again, I mean, I don't think he was spawn camping. I think he was just at the other end anyway. So they're on explosions now. People have got some, like, grenade launcher stuff. He just disappeared. So you can see the lag issues. I think a bit more time spent with this, it'd be not too bad. Not too bad of a game, actually. Um, I knew someone was behind me. Um, now I've got the grenade launcher. Let's grab that. Could use that for. Again, didn't know what the gun did when I shot. <laughs> so again, it's learning these guns as well and what they do. I definitely think I got better over time playing it and definitely having fun with it. I definitely think if you go on with a few friends, this could be a really fun game. Looking forward to actually getting on with a couple of friends I used to play COD with like uh, Scorn and, and Skits. Jump on with them. Nice. 
So I don't know what this gun's going to do until I fire it. Not like a one-shot gun. but he got me so i'm bleeding out now so i have to make sure i stop myself bleeding out so that's another good aspect of it is you bleed out and you'll see sometimes in the game i shoot somebody and the thing's still on the screen showing them with uh the number going up so the i'm still getting points because they're bleeding out and they haven't healed themselves yet and if you don't heal yourself in time obviously then you know what happens you play the game not this game but star citizen itself you know what happens when you bleed out Again, my gun didn't fire. <laughs> Man, that is one of the most annoying things. Is he spawn camping? Mm. So I'm four behind the leader at the moment. Didn't know what that gun did. So enemy team's on final kill. 16. Again, gun didn't fire. There's three people in here and my gun doesn't fire. Now I've got no gun at all. So definitely some bugs in this game still. Things like that. Gun won't fire and gun not showing and stuff like that and then the lag the, like the optimization is not amazing at the moment again my gun didn't fire i'm terrible <laughs> i'm absolutely terrible <laughs> i'm not the best but I didn't do too bad. I got to level 12, 11 kills. So that's not too bad. I did all right. So I'll do like maybe one more, two more games and then give you my thoughts on it. So this is more about today, it's more about just looking at it, comparing it to what it was back uh, when I first played it in, in 3.17. So I've started here now with five points, I think, yeah, five. So it's put me into a game, and maybe some of that's left the game, it's put me in their place with five points. See there, his, his number's going up until he actually healed himself. Chain quick succession. So yeah, I think once you get used to the, the maps and stuff like that, it will become... Oh, he just absolutely tossed in again. Is he still bleeding? I don't believe he's fixed himself. It's definitely fun. Definitely having fun with it. To get his feet. There we go. Again, my gun didn't fire. That's one of the worst things that I've one of the worst bugs I've encountered is that. He's getting me killed. See there, he knocked me on my feet. He knocked me off my feet there. Just the job. So yeah, my gun's not firing. He's been the worst bug I've encountered. A little bit of lag as well. This guy looks new. Like he's still learning the map himself. So 
So not knowing the maps and not knowing what each gun does, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm doing all right. I think as you get further in, you start learning more. So this is, looks like a one shot gun. <laughs> Elimination. Smashed again. They're not massive maps. Ooh. I do like the whole bleeding out type of thing. Like you can put somebody under pressure and, and hit them and have them bleeding out. And uh, keep, if you keep that pressure on, they'll end up bleeding out in the end. So I do like like aspects of the game, the physics of the game, like being knocked on your feet. I'm absolutely need to sort out my my controller sensitivities. Obviously, like in COD, with, when you have the controller, you generally get that aim assist. Again, my gun didn't fire. You have a little bit of aim assist in COD with the controller, whereas you don't have that in here, so you definitely feel it. Not having any aim assist. Again, my gun did fire. Knocked on my, off my feet again. Right, so I fired my gun to make sure it fired this time. I keep getting caught out with that, and I don't know why. Obviously, it's a bug I'll have to report, but... <laughs> I definitely think you got more advantage with the mouse and keyboard. But I can't play mouse Match and keyboard. Over. I struggle with it. Match lost. So I got nearly 7,000 um, rec points there. Five kills. I got to level 10 because I started off with five, level five, because I took over somebody, I think. So what do you guys think up to yet? Let us know in the comments what you guys are thinking. Does it feel like something you want to try out yourself? Could you get a couple of friends on? Echo 11. Elimination is about to begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Start. Move into position. So you have things like cap the flag or control. Again, my gun didn't fire. So you have things like cap the flag and control, where you have teams of UCC and pirates. I won't be a second, I just have to sort something out. So I like this one where you can go outside and... I love that, that's brilliant. Killed down. <laughs> so again, that's another thing I love about the maps, like this map, like you can go outside and you can go into a different entrance I love that idea. I think the whole idea of this is, is brilliant and the, the the first person shooter part of it and I really like it. It's got a lot of bugs that need signing out, like the lighting there was bad. He looks smooth as hell, didn't he? He, he, he was one smooth motherfucker when he did that. Gonna control this middle section here. I'm terrible with my absolutely terrible with my um, pad shooting. Plus, I've got to get used to my sensitivities in here as well. So you've got a door there, a door behind, just underneath me there, and you've got a door of the door there. So there's four doors that side. One there as well. And then one over there, down there, and then a couple behind us. 
Want eh... Uh... I mean, there's some really good people in this, and then there's some absolute amateurs like me. Get away. Oh, there's definitely need to sort of sensitive. I definitely need to sort of sensitivity out of this. That is terrible. That <laughs> is terrible. Definitely got to sort that sensitivity out. So some of the lighting's bad, you'll see it, and then you go into a room, it's really light, and then all of a sudden the lighting kicks in proper. You get me, you're gonna get me. Again, my gun didn't fire. Oh, knocks me on my feet again. Come here. <laughs> See that? That's what I'm talking about, about the lighting. Uh, so again, issues like that. Again, my gun didn't fire. That's definitely a big problem that needs to sort out. So I can get the drop sometimes on people and then obviously I lose out because my gun didn't fire. So I'm bleeding out there. That beeping means I'm bleeding out. I struggle with my pad on it. Because I'm so used to the aim assist with the CODs that I've got to unlearn it. You see the lighting then, how it switched. Again, another thing. So... I'm really liking it. I'm actually enjoying it because it's getting back to doing some FPS and actually enjoying it. Yeah, there is bugs, like I said, with this thing. I'm getting around done by doing what I need to do. But it's um, it's still enjoyable. I'm still enjoying it. Obviously, the bugs are there for everybody, so... Not just me. Not just me. See, See, someone shot there still. See, he's still bleeding out. The numbers are still going up at the bottom. There, he's fixed himself or died. You see some of the lag spikes going on, and that lighting there is terrible. Again, that lag jump there. Sniping down there. The lighting in there is terrible. See, all this lot should be dark in here. It looks like there's no texture to it. Match over. Match lost. So I've got 10,000 reward points there. So I think probably one more match and then we're going to, you know, I'll quickly do a summary of it. What I, what I found and what I liked. I started getting better uh, as, it, as it went on.
So I've come in the game and I'm on one and that guy there is on 13. So I'm already halfway through this game. It's a 14 now. I was going to say, I think I got shot from the side there. Uh, I don't know if he died as well. See, that lighting is terrible. But I know we're in an alpha and, and stuff like that, and we're just testing this stuff, but I'm, absolutely, I'm actually enjoying playing it because a change-up. One thing I looked forward to on Starfield was the fact of having some FPS, some solid FPS. And... It's what we need. It's what we need. I, what we need with this is some solid FPS. When I do bunker missions, um, I feel like I'm always sliding around with my pad. Like, but this feels a little bit more solid now. Definitely a difference playing between my pad and, and mouse players. himself. He just got a better aim than me. My aim was shocking. He started on the floor. It's like it already knows where I'm going to be in a minute. myself so I'm, I'm enjoying it it's issues with the lag so we've got to refill that issues with the lag issues with the lighting it doesn't feel like I'm sliding on ice as much as it used to the issue with the gun not firing at times but other than that, I'm actually enjoying it. It feels like there's something here that we can play now, whereas in 317, about a year ago, we couldn't, we, it was, it, there wasn't people on it playing it, and there wasn't really, it wasn't that much fun. So I've actually really enjoyed that. Now, compared to 317 when I played it last time, much better. It was really slided and there wasn't many people on it. And uh, there was, I struggled with it. That time it felt like I was actually playing a game and like, it's not that far from actually finished and that, that could be a good solid game for, for people that want to come over and play FPS stuff rather than just going around the PU and just going around on the PU. They can actually play an actual FPS game and obviously you've got this mode, you've got the cap the flag mode, you've got the elimination mode. So definitely some good stuff there that we can play with. So this is the control mode and you can set up a character and stuff like that, you load out. Normally you select here where you control, but it's only showing elimination. And then you can set out your guns and stuff like that in that. But I think when I go on this now, nobody's on and we're just waiting around for people. But I'm actually enjoyed it. So you've got U, U, UEC or whatever, and then you've got Pirates. UEE and Pirates are the two, two ones you can have. And I really enjoyed that, playing that, and I'm definitely going to try and play some more of that because it was it was enjoyable to actually do something. And so, yeah, so let us know, guys, what you think of that. Will you be playing that anymore? Uh, would you even look at it? And, yeah, put your thoughts in the comments, guys. I really liked that one. So we hope you liked this video, guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that point, to tick the like button, don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos, guys. And, um, yeah, we'll see you out in the verse. Maybe we'll see you out here on the um, Arena Commander playing this. See you soon, guys.